Carpenter, it doesn't send a good message. Oh, Pete, it's a terrible message. More than 1.6 million journeys are made on Victorian public transport every year. But Victorian taxpayers have been slugged so that those in charge of the system don't have to use it and can instead drive to work. That's despite Southern Cross being the biggest transport hub in the state and being located just a few hundred metres from Public Transport Victoria's Melbourne headquarters. The Collins Street headquarters of Public Transport Victoria is just a short stroll from Southern Cross Station with a tram stop right out the front. But that's not good enough for some senior staff. A Freedom of Information investigation has revealed Public Transport Victoria is paying for 34 parking bays underneath its headquarters, including 18 for executives so they can drive to work, at an annual cost to taxpayers of more than $266,000. Eleven other car parks in the building are rented by V-Line. It is a shocking message if the, the people that are entrusted to manage our public transport network don't actually trust it themselves to get to work. Despite being eligible for one of those car parks, PTV CEO Jerome Weimar says he rarely uses it, preferring to commute by train. It was a surprise to me that when uh, when I started two years ago that there was a, uh, a bit of an expectation amongst some of our senior staff that there would be uh, car parking spaces offered as part of a normal package. A daily user of the Sandringham line, the PTV boss says the management parking perk will be scrapped. Frankly, I think the public would expect us to be out there travelling the, the same rails and on the same buses as, uh, as we expect our passengers to. He says he's well aware of the problems faced by commuters, such as crowding, communication issues, delays and outdated facilities. But the most frustrating... most frustrating thing for me, Andrew, at the moment is the, um, you know, it's I'm impatient for making the improvements. So, you know, it takes a long time to, to fix a system that's, that's had, that, you know, that's, had uh, that's taken a number of years to get right. From April, transport executives will be offered free travel on the network in return for regular feedback. When you're directly responsible for overseeing the system and you, share, you experience that frustration, you share that frustration, you can make a difference when you get into work. It really makes sense for them to be out on the system seeing the problems firsthand. Uh, you you know, if it's not good enough for them, why should it be good enough for the rest of us? Andrew Lund, Nine News.